Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. I am a program manager here at Google Cloud, and I have the pleasure of bringing to you today our Getting Started with ReCAPTCHA Enterprise Series. Now, before we jump in, just want to quickly note that we're going to cover a ton of information in this session. Uh, there's going to be a lot of hyperlinks. There's going to be a lot of uh, areas I ask you to explore, but don't worry. You don't have to do that during the session. So whether you're watching this live or you're watching this as a playback, we are going to have all of the necessary links and all of those explorations will be linked in the post inside of the community as well as on our YouTube channel. So don't stress. Sit back. Try to absorb some of the information because I'm going to throw a lot at you today. And then you can reference it and take it back at your own pace anytime you'd like. We'll have the slide deck in there as well. So no stress. But with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So let's talk about the session goals today. First, and probably most importantly, I want to talk about the key phases of how to actually implement reCAPTCHA Enterprise. Then from there, I want you to know how to get help if you have any questions or issues that come up. You can learn about all the resources that are available to you at any time, on demand, and then uh, how to get connected with your peers and other experts in our security community space. Awesome. So we've got three main pillars I want to touch on. That first area is going to be our documentation. This is where you can find frequently asked questions, any reCAPTCHA fundamentals that you're looking for, or just generic product information. The documentation is where it's all going to live. We've poured tens of thousands of hours into making sure this documentation is comprehensive and to making sure that it meets the needs of you, the customer. So if you aren't sure where to start, you aren't sure if you should reach out to support, I highly recommend starting in the documentation first, seeing if your answer is already there, because chances are 90% of your questions are likely answered in the documentation. That second pillar is our reCAPTCHA events. Those are coming soon. We've got meetups that are going to be happening with like-minded customers. Uh, webinars are already happening, such as this event here. And then we all have additional events like AMAs or... Um, I believe it's called Cue the Questions with security industry experts, where you can engage with them inside of our community, which is that third pillar there. So this is a space where we're encouraging all reCAPTCHA customers and users to go join us. We have lots of awesome discussions that are happening in there. Uh, we have experts and Googlers alike that are inside of the community as well. So with that being said, let's jump into the step one here, which is learning about the reCAPTCHA enterprise onboarding phases. So we break it down into four main pillars on this first set. Um, and that's just simply installing and configuring reCAPTCHA enterprise. And that'll also be based on your hosting environment. And there's a link there that describes that um, and kind of goes into more detail. Now, once you've done that, you'll enable reCAPTCHA enterprise as well as the API plus auth and then that will also be dependent on whether or not you are running it on the GCP side or not if you're not running it with GCP at all. So again, documentation hyperlink there. Then from, from that space, you'll move over into creating a site key. Pretty straightforward. Um, there's a link on step-by-step -step on how to create a site key. And you will choose whether it's just a score-based site key or checkbox-based. And then you'll create an assessment. And once you've created an assessment, you're then able to interpret that assessment. And again, more documentation, everything hyperlinked here. You have the choice on whether or not you annotate that assessment once it's been interpreted. And then of course, you then push it into production, it goes live, and then you can monitor, uh, monitor it. And if you need support, there's lots of different avenues for that. So with that being said, let's talk about some of that documentation and support that's available to you for free at any time. The first space is going to be our developer guides. Now, these are incredibly comprehensive, and I highly recommend spending some time inside of these developer guides. They cover most of everything you would need to know with reCAPTCHA from A to Z. So spend some time in there. We've poured a lot of man hours into making sure that those are applicable and they're updated regularly. Now, if you're looking to get more specific support in that same space, you'll just navigate to support as highlighted by that red box and that will walk you through step-by-step step what you need to do in order to receive support. So next, I just want to talk through a little bit of the frequently asked questions that we receive in support um, and that we're seeing in the community as well. First, we actually have 
FAQs documented and inside of our resources within the documentation. So if you just go to resources highlighted by the green box, then you click on frequently asked questions, you'll see that all of those frequently asked questions already exist in the documentation. They're answered. There's quite a few of them. So if you're not sure uh, whether or not your question has been answered, again, check out the documentation. You likely could even find it via a Google search. Um, if you just put recapture documentation at the end of whatever it is you're looking for. But I want to cover just a couple of those FAQs while we have time today. So for example, how many domains can I add in the verify domains list within the Google Cloud Console? As it stands today, there's currently a limit of 250 domains per site key. Uh, the next question here is, can I use reCAPTCHA Enterprise at a global level? Yes, you can. Um, and we've already got a uh, script written for you. You just simply need to replace the existing script in there. And then after that, you just apply that logic everywhere else on your site. So that in and of itself is pretty straightforward. One of the other hot topics that we get a lot is, how does the pricing model work? What does this look like? Um, of course, it's going to be a little bit dependent on whether or not you have utilize if you're utilizing a recapture with account defender or maybe just password leak detection or fraud detection even. There's a lot of incredible information that can be found on that pricing page. And even better is the new recapture or I'm sorry, the new Google Cloud pricing calculator. So you can have, a very complex instance, as we all are aware, you can have a lot of moving pieces and a lot of that can affect the pricing model. Here inside of that pricing calculator, you can, uh, you can get a really good general idea of what it's gonna cost, depending on how many assessments and uh, how you're utilizing reCAPTCHA. So next, and selfishly probably my favorite because this is where I spend the most of my time is in our security community. So really quick, just want to touch on what exactly is the Google Cloud community? Uh, the Google Cloud community was created to be a public online forum so that our customers and our partners alike can come find answers. You guys can make meaningful connections, share some ideas, and help build each other's skills. Uh, you guys can ask questions. Inside of this community, we post the latest news and events. If you got feature ideas, we have lots of great discussions happening around that. And of course, if you want to learn and grow, build your reputation, the Google Cloud community is an amazing place for all of those things. Inside of the security space in Google Cloud community, we've got three main pillars that we're really focusing on. The first one is our product discussion forums. So that's where you as a customer or a partner can come in, ask a question. We've got Googlers in the discussion forums answering questions, uh, peers, other customers, security experts are answering questions in that forum. Highly recommend. You can even search it, and I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like. If you've got a question and you're not sure if somebody's already asked it, you can search and see. Uh, we've got our Google Cloud community blogs. This is where our leadership is posting crazy amounts of awesome technical content uh, specific for customers, and we've, le we've left it open on purpose so that it can be accessed at any time. And then finally, we've got the AMAs. We are going to be setting up new events all the time, just like this one, for example. Um, but one of the ones that we're most excited about is doing some sort of AMA or quick take. That's going to be our product managers, our customer success managers, customer engineers. We'll be doing an AMA series called Q the Questions. Uh, we may have security experts. We may have customer spotlights as well. So stay tuned inside of the community. We'll have all of the, connect or all of the information that you look for will be there. So I've got a snippet here on how to use the Google Cloud community, but instead I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen and we can uh, cover it that way. So once you log into the Google Cloud community, you'll know you're logged in by this avatar in the top right corner. And once that's there, you'll know you're logged in. You'll also see your username pop up here. What you're going to do here is you're going to scroll down to the discussion spaces and click on security. This is where you're going to find the most pertinent information for uh, Security Command Center. Now, if you're looking specifically for Security Command Center items, you will find that we have a label created right here. Uh, you can click on that. It'll navigate you to all the posts that have that label. 
if you're still not sure that you're you're unable to find the answer you're looking for, you can search it and it's all indexable. The whole site is indexable. So it'll pull from all the different forums. Um, maybe start there. That's a great place to start. If you're still not sure, of course, you can always ask a question yourself. Very simply, give it a subject, be as descriptive as possible in the body, and then you have to give it a label. So it, specifically, if you're looking for Security Command Center, you'll give it a label. If you want to give um, multiple labels, you are able to do that. So you're trying to figure out something with Chronicle and Security Command Center or Recapture, you can give it multiple labels. Uh, the only other area that I do want to call out here is the Learning and Certification Hub. We have poured incredible amounts of man hours into making sure that our certifications are applicable, they're relevant, and I can't recommend getting certified enough. Uh, there's incredible, incredible opportunities that come from being Google Cloud certified. There's lots of information in here. If you have questions, you can jump into the learning forums, ask questions, see if any questions that you already have might have been answered. So that's just a really quick snippet on the Google Cloud community. Highly recommend that you guys jump in, get familiar with the security community, um, and start a conversation. Get to know one another. But your next steps are really simple. First and foremost, I encourage you guys to sign up and engage with the security community. Uh, share some tips, ask some questions, find answers to some of your questions, check out what events are coming, see what's happening next. And then uh, after that, Jump in, familiarize yourself with that support documentation, those how-to guides, because that's going to be kind of the lifeblood of what you do if you want step or if you need step-by-step -step guides. That's where everything's going to live is in the guides, in the documentation. And then lastly, create your first assessment. Give it a go. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you've got comments, don't stress about it. You can find us at any time in the Google Cloud community. We're looking forward to meeting you there. Again, if you, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, join us there. Meet us in a forum. We're looking forward to it, and uh, we'll talk soon.